Hello everybody. Behind me I have my trusty 2009 Volvo S60. It has 175,000 miles on it and it has the original, yes, the original fuel filter. So this is not it, this is a new one. Um, we're going to replace it today. I'll show you where it's located and about where, uh, about how to replace it. Uh, shouldn't need a whole lot of tools. I think it's a 10 millimeter uh, socket or wrench to get the uh, little clamp that holds the fuel filter in place. And a couple of pair of pliers and a, either a um, little catch basin of some sort or a, some paper towels or something so you don't uh, drip gasoline on your uh, floor. Uh, and it might not hurt to wear some protective lenses too, something to cover your face instead of uh, in case gla gas splashes out and tries to get in your eyes. That probably wouldn't be real nice. So let me show you what we got here and uh, then we'll get started. I have the car jacked up and supported with a jack stand. You never want to rely on just one. I, I uh, make sure that I have both. Uh, this is a passenger side rear tire. The fuel filter on these, if equipped with one, I hear that some aren't, is right under there. Um, I have today the MAN WK850 filter. Uh, <clears throat> this is the new filter right here. It was advertised, oops, sorry, almost fell over, <laughs> as uh, being a replacement for this. When I look at it, this looks like it's a bit larger than the original, though, so um, we'll see how easily it clamps back into place. It should function properly. I'm just worried about it clamping back into place. Now, on almost any fuel filter, you're going to see an arrow on this. This indicates the direction that the fuel travels from the tank on this end toward the engine on this end. This is the fuel flow direction for this filter. Don't get it backwards. Some of these uh, can have a anti-reverse mechanism so that fuel can't drain back. And if you get them backwards, that means no fuel will go through. So let me show you under the car and show you where it's located and uh, see if we can't start getting this thing off. All right, hopefully I got this thing positioned so that you can see it. This is the fuel filter up under the car. There's this little bracket to hold it in. And as you can see, this one is a wee bit bigger than that one. Um, if it's the same diameter, I think we'll be okay. It's just a little bit longer. There is a clip over here and a clip over here to pull off. And if I look at the direction of aeroflow, it's going this way. This is this end down here. Um, it looks like well, hopefully, I want to make sure that the uh, hose clamps are the same size. It looks like they might be. Let's. Uh, First things first, I got a pan up under here. Let's get this off. And that is indeed 10 millimeter. Oh, and that thing is pretty big, isn't it? Okay, yeah, look at that sucker. Open that up a little bit slide it off this way and I think that'll fit on the uh, new one quite nicely all right so we have this little clamp and there is a little push thing here on each side and I think all you've got to do is pinch those and the whole thing will come slide right off And that was pretty easy to get off. Let's see if this one's going to be just as easy. Yep, and you do have to pinch it. I am getting gasoline all over everything. So it's a good thing I've got my drain. Although some of it is still getting on the floor because my camera's in the way okay I want to push this push this I 
make sure it's sitting on there properly. And then I want to get my clamp back on here. Now notice on the clamp, I don't know if you can see it here, I'm going to push this out of the way, there's a little tab. This tab goes on the back side of the filter here. To hold it in place. At least that's the theory. This canister is quite a bit longer. It's going to be a challenge to get it up in there because this is in the way. I think what I'm going to have to do is bend that tab down and get it out of the way so I can position this further down here. Here we go. A lot of gasoline that was in that filter. This is not easy to hold up in the place. There it does, I think. Squeezing these things might have helped, but. There it goes, just had to get it started. Okay, so I'm going to get me a rag. Be right back. Didn't have paper towels ready, and I figured uh, I, sh I sh probably should have. Dry that off there. And I'm going to turn you off for just a second because the next step is we've got to start the car and make sure this doesn't leak. And as you can hear, the car is running. And I have no leaks there. No leaks. Where'd you go? Right there. really all there is to it. I have a little bit of fuel in the filter that I removed right down here in this pan. I'll finish draining that out and uh, all I got to do I'll probably put that in my lawnmower or something and uh, we'll call her good, but uh, fuel filter is changed. Here I am still laying on my back with my eye protection though. I've got these, uh, if you've never, if you can't see without glasses, you can get these. There's these little lenses on the bottom of them for readers. So I've got my eye protection and I can see what I'm doing too. So that's all there is to it. If I can do this in the safety of my own garage here, you guys can too. So get out there and get it done.